Alright, hi Kavita, my name is Samara. So, to save time on this video, um, I recommend that you go to my site, which I will send you the link in an inbox, um, and view so you can get a better idea of what's actually happening here. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go through um, this, this health plan. So basically, I can explain that briefly. What a health plan is, it helps you focus on your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, and your spiritual health. All of them are connected. Um, what you think, what you feel affects the way your body reacts, affects the way you react with people in your world. Um, so uh, considering uh, the status you posted about uh, not being able to sleep, oftentimes our mental and emotional um, energy can create a blockage. It can uh, pretty much interfere with the way our body works or the way our body is supposed to work. So um, what I do are intuitive readings, and this is basically um, messages from your creator, from your angels, from your spirit, um, to let you know what habits you have that are hindering or progressing you towards your goal. So I did... Um, Two different types of readings for you. The first reading I did is called uh, Getting to Know You Spread. So basically, this is helping you to get to know your current personality, your current habits and things that are affecting you and keeping you from growing um, and also from getting a good night's sleep. So I use cards. Like I said, just go watch those videos and you'll figure that out. So I'm just going to read to you. I did this last night. So. The first question is, what is your truest nature right now? So this is concerning you right now, um, the type of person you are right now. The first card I pulled for this was the victim card. Now there are positive aspects and negative aspects of the card. The positive aspects is, prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. The negative aspect of this card is playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity, the inability to maintain personal boundaries. Now, the way I decide um, what uh, aspect um, portrays who you are the most is what I feel most drawn to, what my eyes are drawn to look at. And I feel like there's a pull between the two. Um, and this is because I, I took some notes, so I'll just read you the notes I wrote. Um, it's a pull on both sides. There are times when uh, you really feel confident about yourself and you're pretty strong-willed. You can be pretty strong-willed at times. But then there are times where, uh, where you feel like things are out of control uh, or like you can't manipulate or control a situation or yourself that you tend to um, fall back into the pity party thing like oh I can't do this so you know you start to seek attention that way because you know when you feel out of control you can feel lonely you can feel hopeless and you just want some sense of comfort and it's nothing wrong with that the only thing that um, will cause you an issue is that uh, you're not being honest that uh, it's not honest intention um, and the, the attention you will get will begin to reflect the type of energy that you're putting out because you're expecting pity instead of just really wanting a shoulder to cry on and then changing your behavior. So uh, the next, oh, oh, also it says just be yourself, be who you are. Um, you may not always get what you want, but um, You'll always get what you need. Um, there's a difference between wants and needs. Wants are things that we can pretty much do without. Um, if we have them and they're good for us, great. Uh, if we don't, still great because you still have everything that you need. Needs are things that uh, help you progress towards uh, a better you, a happier you. Um, and sometimes the things that we want aren't necessarily good for us. You know what I mean? People want to smoke cigarettes. But are cigarettes good for you? No. Do they serve as a way to relieve stress? Uh, it seems that way because for that moment you, you de-stress yourself. But in the same time you poison your body and weaken your body. And you also become addicted to these substances. And that's the same thing with energy and attitudes. Uh, you might want a certain type of person or you might want a certain type of lifestyle, but is that lifestyle really conducive to your health? Those are questions you should be asking yourself. So the next question is, what are your strengths? 
the first card I, I only pull one card for this is then or the past um learning from your past so basically you normally have a a, a pretty good handle on things uh but lately um i feel like it's because you have invested yourself in a different way um whether it's a relationship or uh you know emotional aspects of something you've invested yourself in a different way you've kind of uh, become a lax on your ex not expectations on your morals and values and beliefs because you're tired of being lonely or feeling alone so um, lately it's been more difficult for you to uh, maintain your sense of balance in the situation uh, focusing more on the past um, a strength of yours is learning from the past you tend to you know uh, kind of like myself once you bump your head you're like okay I'm done with that shit I'm not gonna do it again but lately you've been bumping your head and bumping your head and bumping your head and then be like I can't figure out why it keeps going this way it's getting on my nerves or blah 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 and and now you need to bring your attention back to that strength of yours um, stop bumping your head if you don't want to hit your head, stop doing the same things over and over. And it's hard to pull yourself out of that phase when when you're lacking. But again, this is going to, and I'm going to talk about this later in the reading. Um, your health um, plays a major role in it. A lack of rest. Uh, Weak is the entire body because rest is when your body restores itself. When you sleep, that's when your body grows. That's when your hormones balance out. That's when your body begins to heal and restore itself. So let's move on. Um, what do you like doing best? Oh, so um, the card I pulled for you was encouraged. So I feel like you like uh, uh, pretty much mentoring others or encouraging others, especially those who are younger than you, children, um, kids, or or people that are down. Um, you like to uh, make people happy when you see that they're feeling bad. You have a goofy personality. So when you are uh, noticing that a, a friend or family member or even certain strangers are feeling a certain way, you tend to want to encourage them or, or say words of encouragement. But that same energy that you give to other people is the same energy that you need to give to yourself because you can be quite hard on yourself and uh, pretty abusive to yourself by saying, oh, I'm stupid or um, I'm not good enough or whatever other negative uh, self-talk you use with yourself. So encourage yourself more. I can do it. I'm capable of it. I deserve happiness. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be happy. Let's move on. The next question, what are your weaknesses? A uh, card I pulled for you was acceptance. Um, this is one of your weaknesses. Um, so I'm just going to read some of the notes I wrote for you. Um, something you really have to work on is learning to accept yourself as you are. Your mind, your personality, your heart, and your body. This also means learning to accept life and the situations and circumstances that it shows you. Um, without becoming angry or bitter um, and I made a status about this earlier today too um, acceptance has been uh, one of the things that I have to work on um, acceptance is not about settling for less or accepting bullshit or accepting abuse that's not acceptance that's settling um, acceptance is about understanding like this is what it is this is what happened this is how I am it doesn't mean that you don't strive to be better or that you become complacent and be like oh well I'm good enough as I am and I don't need to grow or I don't need to learn no it's about saying I see um, and I acknowledge uh, my current state but can I use some improving yes can I use some uh, some assistance some encouraging yes uh, can I stand to change my attitude yes you know so um, acceptance is about understanding where you currently are in life and then this and understanding enables you to uh, choose what you need to do next what you need to focus on and work on next um, and believe it or not uh, when we when we carry around um, our insecurities um, it weakens our body. It, it it weighs heavily on our our mind and our heart, and we can't go to sleep. We don't eat right. We don't we don't act right. So keep that in mind. 
Okay, the next question is, what do you not like doing? The card I pulled for you was switching roles. So basically, you don't like to be on the other side of the fence. And this can lead you to difficulties in many different areas of your life. Um, I'm reading what I wrote down for you yesterday. If you aren't willing to view life or circumstances, arguments, or whatever from another perspective, another perspective or another person's point of view or the other side looking at every angle then you can't really expect others to do the same for you and you can't really expect yourself to to progress in life um and i won't even use the word expect but you can't um hope that people will do the same for you just off of pure hope you have to be willing to see a situation from every angle because sometimes what we feel it's not wrong but that's only one part of it and there's many other parts you know it's like a puzzle or like a picture there's a whole picture um, if you look at a picture in a frame uh, you might see the person if, if it's a painting of a person but in the background there's also trees there's a river you know there's mountains or whatever else is in the picture there's a whole picture that that, that and that's what makes it a portrait so this is the same thing with your life. There is more to it than just your personal opinions and your thoughts. And if you're not accepting and you're not open and willing to hear other people's sides or even put yourself in another person's place and say, well, uh, maybe they feel this way because of how they view the situation the same way you feel that you're not going to get anywhere and you're going to be pissed off all the time. You're going to be upset. And wondering why things are working out for you or why things keep happening the same way the next question is how do you feel about yourself the card I pulled was clarity so this has two meanings um, you aren't entirely clear about how you feel about yourself right now there are some uncertainties that you have to deal with and this is due to uh, current insecurities that you may have um, insecurities are not about feeling bad and, and, and guilty or sh ashamed. Insecurities about are about growth. When you feel insecure about something, it's because there's something that you're missing, something that you have to focus on and work on um, with yourself. So this requires you to be honest with yourself, to be open and vulnerable with yourself. Why am I upset about this situation? And you have to keep asking yourself why. So when you have an answer, you answer that question and you say, okay, well, why is that the answer? And you keep going and you keep going and then eventually you'll get to the heart of the matter, the root of the issue. And then you'll be able to make your choices based off of uh, the conclusion that you've come to. Um, what question are we on now? Uh, number seven. What do you need to learn? The card I pulled for that is set a foundation. You need to learn how to put your foot down and say no. Um, and this, this has to do with other people that are in your life and also to yourself. The impulses that you have um, to do. So if you're feeling insecure and you're feeling upset and you're like, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to drink or whatever, whatever the case may be, whatever whatever unhealthy choices or impulses you have you have to learn how to say no I'm not gonna do that because I need to deal with this so I won't have to worry about it anymore but also um, you need to learn how to stand up for yourself and for your morals and values especially when it comes to relationships so if if you're wanting a relationship or dealing with a person who constantly wants you to do what they want you to do and you know that goes against your morals, that your values, the things that you hold dear to your heart, then that person is not necessarily for you. You have to be able to say, no, I'm not doing that and I, I refuse to change that because it's not something that can be negotiated. Um, if you find yourself trying to negotiate those things, then you maybe need to reconsider the relationship or the foundations of that relationship. Also, it says... Um, I wrote a house that's only as good as its foundation. So if you're only putting in negative things to a relationship or into yourself, into your heart, into your mind, then you're going to create a shaky ass, raggedy ass house and it's always going to keep falling down and crumbling. You're always going to be upset and disappointed. Whereas if you start putting more positive activities into your life, positive thoughts, positive emotions, you're going to have a strong, sturdy foundation and your house will be strong and sturdy. It won't be leaking 
again. It won't be no bullshit like that going on. So that's something to consider. Your your mind um, is a found, is your foundation. The things that you think, of the things that you feel in your heart, um, they should make you stronger. They should make you, uh, you know, they should be helping you to grow instead of making you feel down or bad. Question number eight. How can uh, you work to achieve that? So says opposition. Stop fighting opposition. Flow with it. Learn to work with them. You'll find that the things that seem to be opposing you are actually working in your favor to strengthen you and to strengthen your ability to focus on your goals and the task at hand. So basically, um, sometimes it seems like shit is just going wrong at every angle. Every angle. And you're like, man, I can't catch a break. But really... It's all about perspective. If you think that something is going wrong, then it's, of course it's going to be wrong to you. But if you look at it, it's like, okay, um, this is challenging because uh, it requires me to, to put in more effort and to put in more work to, to achieve a certain goal or to figure out what the problem is. Then this is building yourself up. An analogy I like to use all the time, you have tiny little seeds. Look at trees. Trees are these big, sturdy things. You can't knock them over. You can, but you need like really strong equipment to do that. You have to chop them down. But you can't physically, as a human being, push a tree over. Um, it's too strong for that. But you have to remember that trees started from these tiny little bitty seeds. And... They were very vulnerable. They started in the ground and they were these uh, fragile things. They had to endure snow, freezing ice and rain. They had to endure storms. Uh, they had to endure droughts, the sun beating down on them, you know, freezing cold. But throughout all of that, they continued to grow. They continued to be nourished and they grew into these big, strong, sturdy trees and that's the same thing with life everything that you're going through is like a tree it's like a seed it's going to be times where you're vulnerable and you have to endure the storms you have to endure the burning hot sun or the droughts or you know all, all of those things that uh, seem to be uh you know scary or daunting or hard to deal with but it strengthens you. It strengthens uh, your resilience, your inner environment, how you feel about yourself. So that's important. Next is where would you like to be with yourself? And the card I pulled for that was forgiveness. You like to forgive yourself for the things that you've done in the past. Um, a lot of times when we're growing, um, and maturing in our minds we often start to remember all the bullshit that we did like man I shouldn't have never did that and then we feel guilty about it and we guilt trip ourselves and we kind of punish ourselves for it in a way because we don't let it go we don't embrace we don't accept that that was a part of our life and that was something that we had to experience or go through in order for in order for us to grow and learn and understand ourselves more deeply so basically um you like to be in a place of peace with yourself, in a place of acceptance and understanding. And the only way that you can do that is accepting, like we discussed earlier, the things that have happened and saying, uh, looking back and saying, well, yeah, I did this and that was pretty shitty of me. Being able to say that it was shitty of you, that's you letting go. That's you growing and acknowledging and accepting that, that part of your life. And now you can use it to learn or to help others or to better understand yourself and life period so this whole next section of this reading has to do with um, your physical health um, there's something else I'm gonna read first um, things that you need to do concerning uh, your physical health so this means your diet um, habits and your exercise habits so I'm gonna do the exercise first these are things that will improve your quality of sleep, but also Im improve your general health and wellness altogether. So what is the best form of exercise to improve sleep and your general health and wellness? So uh, I pulled uh, three cards. 
the first card was organic and toxic substances so basically this means uh, the foods that you eat the the things that you put on your body um, they affect you skin is the biggest organ and it absorbs right into your bloodstream especially into your digestive tract um, your digestive tract is one of the most important things on your body because this is where you eat this is where you receive nutrients from this is where your immune system is located and your immune system serves to protect your body from illness from fatigue from from bullshit basically um that's mental that's thoughts and emotions but also physical sicknesses or ailments or diseases that t that people tend to take on so you need to make sure that uh, the foods that you eat are organic if you don't understand um, exactly what organic is take some time to go on Google and look that up or um, you can go to my site and sign up for class which is free and uh, have your own personal class about health and wellness um, and get yourself on a track to understanding your body better and understanding what it needs but also um, you know getting yourself organic wholesome foods more fresh fruits and vegetables um, less fast food less junk food I don't know if you smoke or drink but you know eliminating that out of your body um, you know especially smoking smoking anything is bad for you now I'm not saying herb is bad the herb itself is wonderful but the act of smoking it is uh, you know harmful to your body um, and drinking you know drinking is not even bad grain liquors are made of grains and they do serve a medicinal purpose when used for medicinal purposes red wine and white wine are also medicinal um, and can serve as uh, you know supplements almost but um, just understanding how to curb uh, your habits so that they are not harmful to you the next card I pulled was um, small intestines so the small intestines um, are where your and your large intestines but your intestines are where your body uh, processes nutrients breakdowns fats and all of that in the stomach uh, breaking down uh, proteins fats carbs things that your body needs to use for energy production and and so on um, when it comes to sleep sleep is a function of your body and it requires energy so when your body is lacking uh, proper nutrients and energy you're not gonna be able to sleep well you're you're gonna have a hard time going to sleep because it needs actually it actually needs energy to restore itself and your body's gonna keep itself awake because it doesn't have anything to feed off of it's literally feeding off your body leaching nutrients from other organs in your body to support other organs in your body and that's kind of backwards because then you're going to throw off the balance of yourself you're always going to have trouble sleeping probably terrible menstrual cycles um emotional uh pms i don't like to use premenstrual premenstrual syndrome because it's not a syndrome it's not a disease i like to say premenstrual messages because that's the way your body lets you know what you need and what's going on but also uh the last card i pulled was ox oh wait i'm still on small intestines um small intestines also has to do with the emotions of um hate and being impatient and i feel like you're a very impatient person especially now uh, because you want what you want when you want it but that's not how life works so being impatient it affects the quality of absorption of foods and materials uh, hating something oh I hate this I can't stand this um, instead of understanding it uh, you weaken your body and being cruel causing people to suffer just because you're mad or because you're angry or because you're unhappy with yourself or unhappy with the situation and then wanting other people to suffer because of that that's cruel and then that's not you, you, you're not only doing that to the other person but you're doing that to yourself because you're depriving yourself of positive energy of growth of learning and then finally uh, oxygen was the final card I pulled for you so this means basically that uh, you need to do some deep breathing get your body moving so that um, you can get more oxygen to your brain uh, your body requires oxygen that is what your blood cells eat your red blood cells eat as food and your red blood cells are what uh, produce muscle tissue what produce uh, everything basically in your body require requires red blood cells to function requires blood to function so um, getting 
all of those thoughts in mind, those negative thoughts, releasing those deep breathing exercises, um, inhaling through your nose, <sighs> exhaling out of your mouth, and doing that ten, you know, ten times every morning. You could do it twice a day, once in the morning when you first wake up, and then before you go to bed. Um, this is going to get more oxygen flowing into the body. Doing deep breathing exercises before bed can help you release emotions and tension and stress. And you'll find um, that you'll start to be able to, to have a, a good sleep, a good night's sleep, a better quality of sleep. Now, don't just expect things to happen overnight uh, because that's not... That's not realistic. Your body did not get that way overnight. It was a course of time um, action that you took to uh, get it that way. And also uh, sleeping pills. Um, they don't really do much for you but just to get you to sleep that night. But they actually damage the liver. They damage the kidneys. Um, which are your filtration systems of your body and they damage the intestines which is where you absorb nutrients and like I said if you're not getting enough nutrients then your body can't process for you and you're not gonna be able to go to sleep you force your body to go to sleep then you are uh, fucking up the natural system basically the natural system it has and the way it functions naturally now there are natural sleep aids that actually work to help correct your body's imbalances um, help you with your mental and emotional ailments as well as your physical ailments. Um, and if you have any questions about those, you can just ask me about it and I'll get that information right to you. So this last section is basically the top three. There might be four or five cards based off of whatever fell out. But these are the top three nutrients that can best help you right now. Now you are not limited to whatever is on this list but these are just the top three things that will best suit you right now to help push you towards um, a better general overall health but also helping you get to sleep um, and helping your body get to sleep and processing nutrients so that that it can do what it's supposed to do for you. So card number one um, these are vitamins, the top three vitamins you need. And first, let me pull these out so I can explain to you what each vitamin does for you. So, one moment, please. So, the first vitamin that I pulled for you was vitamin A. Let me get in the light so I can read the suit. So it's an antioxidant. That means it destroys toxins in your body. Um, Anti-cancer, anti-stress uh, basically. Um, Anti-carcinogenic. Carcinogens are toxins that you inhale from the air around you. Carbon, smoke, uh, chemicals from sprays and people's germs and shit. Um, but also this helps to improve your body's ability to heal which is the issue that you're having now um, your body's ability to restore itself at night when it's supposed to it can't do that uh, which is the reason for your lack of sleep um, now I'll explain something about vitamin A and vitamin E in a minute but uh, let's uh, omega 3's so omega 3 is a nutrients um, that helps converting blood sugar into energy so that uh, your blood sugar that's your energy production and like I said energy is required for every function in the body including sleep your body requires energy which is kind of ironic and kind of weird for it to rest for it to restore itself for it to, for it to go to sleep basically um, this also helps to maintain uh, muscle toning of the heart so this has to do you know with your circulation if, if you have poor circulation you're also gonna have trouble sleeping because one your body has to work twice as hard to produce energy for you and two that has to do with the whole oxygen thing cutting off your oxygen not having enough to support yourself and if you're not getting enough oxygen you're not getting enough nutrients to your body um, also your stomach and intestines so this is going to strengthen your immune system it's going to make sure that everything is working properly inside of you so that you're properly absorbing your vitamins and minerals or the nutrients that you need for each organ each function in your body to work properly and then finally promoting healthy hair skin eyes and nails and this is important 
because your skin like i said is one of the largest organs on your body it absorbs everything so if you're using harmful chemicals um again uh if you have questions about what could be harmful to you i will get that information to you all you have to do is ask um vitamin e antioxidant but also for the brain and nervous system the brain and nerve function um the nervous system is a big part of being able to rest and get to sleep because uh you know there's energy production going on here um then you have blood clot prevention anti-cancer wound healing uh general body healing and anti-aging um so you know stress can make you look old or older than you are um, but also so can a lack of rest a lack of sleep which is often due to stress um, so basically these are the top three vitamins uh, that your body is needing right now and um, I'm gonna go through a list of foods and nearly everything on this list contains uh, every vitamin and mineral that I'm gonna share with you so now let's move on to the minerals so the first one is phosphorus and this uh, is important because this helps your body to metabolize. It's important in the uh, utilization of carbs, fats, and proteins for growth. Growth is not just about your body growing, but it's about um, bone growth, hormone growth, cell growth, hair, skin, and nails. All of that is important. Um, your carbs are energy. Proteins help with muscle tissue, building muscle tissue, um, healthy bones. Um, where are we at? Fat is good because, you know, you need fat to absorb certain vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D. Um, but also you need, um, fat because fat also breaks down into energy that your body uses. So the next I pulled is gold. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you need gold, but, um, if you're having joint pain, arthritis, you know, stiffness, um, bone issues, sciatica problems, um, you need to start focusing more on the thoughts that you're keeping. But gold also stimulates your brain function, your brain health, um, mental alertness. So this means um, gold uh, makes me think of oxygen. So getting more oxygen again to the body so that the brain can function properly. A lot of times uh, we view irritability as an issue, but it's really our body's way of letting us know that we're deficient. Um, and something, uh, and in your case, is a nutrient. Oxygen is a nutrient. You need to get more oxygen to your brain, more oxygen to your body. Copper. Um, this is a naturally occurring uh, mineral. Uh, you can find it in many foods. You will find it in some of the foods that I listed here. Um, maintains a healthy skeletal and nervous system. Your skeletal system is important because it supports your entire body. Inside of your bone is bone marrow, is a, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't think of that word right now. But basically, the important things that you need, the source of your DNA is inside of your blood. Um, constantly creating and renewing itself. So in order for you to have a good balance of that, you need to get your you know nervous system together and finally I pull silicone this is important for building bone and connective tissues um, it keeps the skin elastic so basically um, you know being able to uh, keep your bones strong and healthy excuse me so now I'm gonna move on to the top three foods and I'm not gonna do much explaining about these foods um, other than a, a few things here uh, so for uh, excuse me, I have to sneeze and it just won't come out. So I'm sorry if I sneeze extra ridiculous. Uh, so for the first um, set of fruit foods, whole grains, um, I pulled three cards. So durum wheat is just a type of wheat, whole wheat. And remember what I said, everything should be organic. Um, whole wheat and couscous. Uh, if you don't know what any of that is, uh, look it up on Google. Um, for dairy, as far as the best dairy products to support your general health and well-being and helping you get a, a better night's sleep, uh, Greek yogurt or a yogurt. I don't too much care for it, but, you know, everybody has their own taste and preferences. Um, yogurt contains um, 
probiotics or basically bacteria it's good bacteria and bad bacteria probiotics are good bacteria and they pretty much support your immune system and your immune system pretty much supports every system in your body if that system is weak then everything else in your body is going to be thrown off so uh, this will help to strengthen your intestines um, your stomach your digestive tract and this will better help you absorb and eliminate toxins and absorb nutrients um, feta cheese and butter now I wanted to talk about butter because the two vitamins I pull for you vitamin A and vitamin E are what we call fat soluble vitamins this means that they require a type of fat in order to be absorbed into your body properly um, butter is a type of fat so um, when you're eating certain foods that contain vitamin E or vitamin A um, vegetables rice um, put a little butter in it or cook with a little butter so that when you're consuming it it has a, a, a catalyst in which it can absorb into your body and then you you'll know that you're getting your proper nutrients so top three fluids water water is the most important one on this list because your whole body every function in your body requires water to constantly circulate um, nutrients to to it um, also, uh, if you don't have enough water, you will be irritable. You will uh, leave your body open for disease, infection, uh, cancer, all of that crap. Um, so make sure that you're getting a lot of water. If you're not drinking more than 10 glasses of water a day, you're not getting enough water. The next is flaxseed oil. This is also a healthy fat that you can use to absorb vitamin D and vi vitamin E and vitamin A. And then the last is apple cider vinegar. Um, and I suggest that you do some research on all of these things for yourself so you can get a better understanding of what it is. Next we have proteins, sardines, eggs, and cod. Like I said, you are not limited to whatever is on this list. I know some people have a problem with sardines. Um, but give yourself a try. Look up some recipes. You never know um, what you, you might like it, you might not. Uh, for nuts and seeds. Almonds, pumpkin seeds, and pine nuts. Pine nuts are rich in vitamin C. Um, pumpkin seeds and almonds, rich in vitamin A, rich in vitamin E. Um, again, you know, you can roast these. You can put them on your salads uh, with, um, you know, drizzle a little flaxseed oil on them or whatever the case may be. Uh, just look up some recipes if you, if you feel like uh, you don't really quite know what to do. <laughs> with um, some of these um, ingredients or fruit foods and the last two things we have are fruits and veggies so I'll read the fruits first nectarines cantaloupe and hot peppers and grapefruit and then you have peas green onion parsley and black beans so um, like I said you are not limited to anything on this list if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me um, like I said I will go deeper into this plan as far as putting together a diet or meal plan but you have to talk to me about that so we can really figure out the best way to uh, set that up for you so if you have any questions or concerns just let me know you know how to contact me and that'll be it thanks bye bye